So here I'm going to show the Ninja Scatter script. Um, it's included in the Ninja Mesh tools. So it will be under the Scatter tab. Um, the first thing you want to do, so right, right now I have a piece of land with some water and some trees, plants, grass, and rocks. Um, so the first thing you want to do is set the target object. So you set that, you'll see that it puts the name there. Um, second thing you want to do is to find your distribution objects. So let's just select all of these and right click and hit store random distribution objects. Um, we have the ground, uh, I accidentally added the ground, we don't want that. So let's redo that. Um, every time you store it, it will clear out the list and just add whatever you have selected. So if you only wanted to add these, then you'll see that it only adds those. But we'll just add all of them for now. And you can see you have object, selection, paint. Um, you also have component type, vertex, edge, or face. So this will place the objects along the vert, vertices, edges, or faces. Um, so let's select this object and hit object. And what it will do is it will scatter along the whole object the objects the di the distribution objects you have defined um, you can see it's pretty dense um, that's because I have a density of 50% um, by default it should be at 10% so let's change that to 10 and redistribute that. Alright, so that is the object scatter. Um, if you go in your outliner you'll see that it has grouped it, all the objects into a group for easy access so you can just select that group and delete. Okay, so I'll show you the selection. So basically if you're in selection mode and vertex, you'll select ver vertices and then it will only place it at wherever you have selected vertices. Um, and if you go into edge mode, then you'll see that it creates a new group for the edges. So now you have a vertex group and an edge group. And same with face. So if you select face, it will create a face group. So that way you can have objects scattered along faces, edges, and verts. And they're all separated. So that's, let's go and delete these guys again. And I'll show you the paint. So let's select the vertices and hit paint. Um, you can see that it does store the vertices that you've had selected. Um, you can hit the reset scatter and it will basically reset everything uh, for the vertex and like it, it does it independent of the component so you can reset the the edge, vertex, and face separately. Um, so let's go into paint mode and we will just paint verts and you'll see that you can basically just paint where these objects will get distributed. Um, this is probably going to be the most popular mode since it has since it's the easiest way to get objects on a get objects scattered, um, and to remove verts, you just hold Control down, and 
and you'll see that it removes for its um, we'll put this in just gray gray mode so we can see the the selections easier um, okay so you also have a retry scatter which will you can just retry with with whatever is selected um, I showed you the reset and then the stop will just stop the scatter mode um, what finalize does is once you have this let's say you want to keep this um, scatter group you just hit finalize scatter and you'll see that it renames the group differently so now when you go back and you go and paint again um, it won't remove that group anymore and it creates a new group so let's just stop this one um, exit scatter will exit everything so it's probably good to exit once you're done scattering everything um, so we'll just delete these guys and I'll show you some other features um, so we'll just use paint for this um, I'm just gonna store the rocks for now because I just want to paint some rocks along the the water edge here now the density isn't that high so we'll change this to about 50 percent density and we can also change the scales um, it's set to 0.5 but let's say we always want them scaled at 1 uh, actually, five is good. So now we've got some rocks in the location where we want them. Um, so if we stop the scatter and we go and we select the grass and we store the grass and we go paint again you'll see that it creates a whole new group for the grass so every time you change your distribution object list it will create a whole new group for it so as you're painting right now it won't it will keep all the data for this object list um, so we'll just paint some more grass if you want some in there and we'll stop this and we'll add some plants and we'll go paint some more paint some plants in and you'll see that now it's painting some plants in and it's keeping your grass and your rocks so let's stop that again and we'll paint these trees now the reason why I have more uh, trees without leaves is because when it does decide which object to place um, if you want more more dead trees in you can just duplicate those and it will place more dead trees than the leaf leafy trees so let's go paint and I'll, you'll see that it will let's set this at like 10% place more of the dead trees than the leaf trees so you can go and you can paint you know where you want some trees another way to lock in the the scatter group has hit the final Y scatter. So let's say you're done with that side of the 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 river and you want to paint this side now. So now we'll reset it to and we just only want to paint new ones on this side. Um, So 
So that is the random scatter section. So we'll stop and we'll exit and let's go and just delete these again. Now I'll show you the color scatter. So we'll close this and go into the color scatter. And we'll set the target object and we will then go and uh, where's the toggle the colors. So right now I have you can have up to six colors that you paint with um, but right now I only have three painted so red is rocks so we'll select the rocks and we'll store the red and trees is green so let's select these and add these to the green list and plants is blue so let's just select those and store the blue alright so since we're only on the blue group or the blue color set um, you just hit scatter blue and you'll see that it will only place it wherever there's a blue vertex um, so let's change this to 50 percent and scatter again so it will never place it in a non-blue vertex. Um, this way you have more control over where things will get scattered and um, <coughs> that way you can avoid overlapping with the random scatter if you start painting on top of other verts and there's already an object there. So let's go to the rocks and we'll go into the paint vertex and we'll pick a color red and let's increase the brush and let's say we only want rocks you know on the the border of the water so we'll just paint red here and white for whatever we don't want okay. so we're done with that so you can just go and hit scatter red and you'll see that it has placed rocks only on the red vertices um, let's change this to 50% and rescatter that again. And for each color, you can align normal and uh, define the scatter percent independently. So if you don't want the grass to be aligned to the normal or the trees to be aligned to the normal, which most likely you don't want trees to be aligned, um, then you have control over that. So let's place some trees too. So that's the color scatter and the random scatter. Uh, that's it. So.